Welcome to my channel. My name is Salentia and I'm a mom who's trying to get her family to financial freedom. I am paid two times per month for my part-time job. All of my other income comes from side hustles. But today, you guys, I wanted to stuff my envelopes for my weekly expenses for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. So, first things first, I have decided uh, I'm going to actually switch to a different bag. Um, it's not big, it's still pretty small, but I can fit my um, Louis Vuitton in there. And I decided to use the um, Peekaboo Vellum um, envelopes um, this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And because I had some fun vinyl, it's like, a, what is it called, a leopard print? I decided to use the leopard print. I, I thought it was really cute. It, it, it's a really good vibe with the uh, Louis Vuitton, the brown. Uh, by the way, sometimes when I use this little agenda, people ask me where did I buy it. And um, I did not buy this. I actually wanted in a giveaway from Rochelle Adamson. And she's on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. She's all over. And she had this giveaway. And I actually won this. So that was really cool. And then also I won an, another giveaway. Um, I can't quite remember. I enter a lot of giveaways. But I remember I won a giveaway. Um, and it was an Etsy gift card. And so I bought this on Etsy from, um, I believe it was Lola Luck. And I will link it down below if you're interested in like this little chain or this, um, I, I will link Rochelle's channel. Maybe you can get in touch with her. She has a ton of LV stuff, like a touch. That's her, her thing. That's what she does. So anyways, now we've got that out of the way. These cash envelopes, we are actually going to, um, set aside for a little while. Hopefully they'll be back soon. I really like carrying around my hip pack, but I decided I would try to carry a different purse for a little while. Okay, so um, let's start Vincent and Victor right here for a second because we're, we're not going to add anything to those today, but we will be taking that money and putting it into our binder. So um, I know Carter's didn't have anything left over and um, just in case you're interested in knowing, car juice is actually gas. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but just in case you're wondering, car juice is gas. Um, Redhead with a budget, she had that on one of her envelopes, and I was like, hey, can I steal it? And she was gracious enough to let me use that title for my gas envelope. So Grub and Home, um, they are empty as well. And I mean, that's part of the process. And last week when we spoke, I was hoping to have $20 left over in gas and I ended up spending it on, on my groceries. So we were able to grab a few more things. All right, so mommy, mommy has five bucks left over. And I think what I'm gonna do is roll that into my grocery envelope when we stuff. So let me move this. Um, my, if you hear banging, my kitty's like, close by and sometimes he he's a chubby kitty so he knocks stuff down so anyways we have five bucks left over my kids I do not unstuff we are actually going to a fall festival um, by the time you see this we will have already gone <laughs> but we're going to a fall festival and they're going to use their money um, to enjoy the festivities so let's count up what we're stuffing today we have 100 120, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160 dollars is what we are stuffing today. So last week I gave myself a little bit more spending money um, than I have been and it was awesome. It was incredible um, because I like having a little bit of, you know, money to enjoy my, my life with, <laughs> you know, but because our finances are so tight, I'm really trying to make um, very conscious decisions on what, you know, what the next move is and how we're planning on um, spending money, but also saving money um, kind of situation. Right now, uh, we're really trying to just focus on making sure we pay down the credit cards. So, first things first, mommy is getting 20 bucks. So I wish I could do another 40 this week, but um, the way our funds are looking, uh, we just have to skip that part. <laughs> the extra 20, you just have to, hopefully, uh, you know, in the next 
coming weeks or something, we'll be able to give ourselves a little bit more spending money. Car juice is getting $20 as well. These are brand new cash envelopes, so I really need to break them in. <laughs> um, and I actually ended up keeping this set because there are like minor flaws. And I'm, I don't know if you can actually see them or anything like that, but I was like, oh, well, since there's a, a minor flaw, I'll just keep it for myself. So groceries is getting this 100, and then we'll go ahead and throw this five in there. It's not a lot, but you know what? It changes um, a, a lot of what our plan is. We can get us those extra things that the kids are asking for or the things that we didn't think, oh, well, this week we, we could have gotten away with it without getting them, but we're going to because we have that extra five bucks. So, you know, whatever I think is necessary at this point. I wanted to start up a savings challenge again, but at this point it's just not realistic for us. So pets is getting $10. So we have five, ten. All right, so then Vincent and Victor. Um, so since his envelope is so bulky, we'll go ahead and take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has exactly ten bucks. Okay, that's perfect because I can just put this aside they this is the kiddos allowance this ten dollars that's the kiddos allowance and I um, pay them uh, a dollar um, they can earn up to a dollar a day I mean if they do more than just that then I'll take it from my spending but dad also gives them um, Vincent and Victor allowance as well so they have plenty of opportunity to make money but it is they have to do the basic things like you know, go to school, have a good week. They have to clean their room. Those type of things that we don't pay them for. But um, chores like cleaning the kitchen, helping with the laundry, cleaning the patio, you know, cleaning the windows. It just things that are not like every single day, um, you know, on the to-do list, but should be done. You know, they, they know, like, you have to help because you live here, but we pay you for the things that are above and beyond just like your space. So it helps a lot to, they are very motivated by money. So some kids, I, I noticed they're not. They're just like, uh, no, I don't care. <laughs> you worry about it. So, and Victor has a couple bucks. He has 10, 11, 12. So he has $12, which is fantastic. So they have plenty of money for the festival. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to pay up and then like negotiate a great week before um, so we'll see, but this is $10 for their allowance, and I will just figure that out how I'm going to make that work. Because they, they love when you do it in advance. They work really hard to make sure they don't uh, ruin it for the next time. So if we negotiate something in advance, they, they stay on it. They are focused and committed. So we'll see how things go with that. But that is everything for um, this video. We're ready for the week, but I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All of the things that can keep us connected, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Feel free to check out Salentia and Cassie J Creates. We're on Etsy, Big Cartel, and you can find us on Instagram. We do have um, different cash envelopes, A7, A6, and we also have savings challenges, binders, things like that if you're interested. Um, also... By the way, I got this cute little cassette wallet. It's a wallet. Um, and I got it from Kadema. I actually won that in a giveaway as well. So please do not slack on these giveaways. I'm like trying to get amped up for my 2,000 subscriber. I don't know when it's going to happen, you know, at some point, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, I get to my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I've already been buying things to put towards that. So I'm hoping that it ends up being a fantastic giveaway. So uh, be on the lookout for that, you know, whenever that actually happens for me. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.